What is going on, video gamers? This is Dale, the game commentator, and welcome to Martha is Dead. This is one of my favorite games, and this is a gem, so I gotta have to play it. There are only two questions I have in mind. Who is Martha? Why Martha is dead? Let's go find out. The story of Martha is Dead is featured characters, a work of a fiction. The game contains potential uncomfortable scenes and covers topics that may distress some players. The game is recommended for an adult audience and carries the appropriate, appropriate age rating as an adult narrative drama. The game uses artistic interpretations that can be visually unsettling and may cause discomfort. It explores the complexities of the human mind, psychological trauma, and self-harm. The game is not recommended for players who may find depictions of mature scenes containing blood, dismemberment, disfigurement of human bodies, and self-harm disturbing. So, if you're kind of weak in terms of this kind of games, just look at my face. Not, don't look at the game. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. If you're someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources are available at safeinourworld.org. You can check it out, guys. This game. Oh. Ciao. I'm Julia. Julia K. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. There is so much that... I should start from my childhood, but my memories of these times are vague. I only remember the summer of 1929, when they sent me off to stay with my nanny. What happened there? Thief, though. The legend. Nanny, will you tell me the story of the white lady? No, little sparrow. Not tonight. A fog is coming, see? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things. Even if we're not actually bad. Just like soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman. And she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Your sister is with your mother, so do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes, I miss Martha a little, but I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful, yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Listen, Nanny. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Oh, this is I Julia. loved Nanny and I loved that story. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it, even though it scared me. Even now, I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. Okay, so... According to an ancient legend, 
The lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. Yeah, it's terrible. She was expecting a lover stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire that death, not love, was awaiting her. Oh, the poor dear. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, Poppet, but that's the way it is. And we must learn to deal with it. Okay, I'll try. But it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. So he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. I'm a little scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, Nanny. Daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Go ahead. Okay, honey. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul, she takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Good night, Nanny. Good night, my love. Little Sapero. I like... I do like the accent. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. You lost her memories? What happened to her? The, the lake. I think this is chapter two or something. Look at the graphics. Whoa, 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 whoa. The same engine with, uh, I think, Beast Inside, so. How can we do this? Okay. Right click. <clears throat> what are you looking at? Right click. W. What? Oh, okay. Turn off the film. Have to slide your mouse forward, downwards. Okay. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that someone's gonna struggle with the controls at first. I guess there's Put no the new film in. No exact or you know, I don't know. <laughs> right click and dump. Okay, and then upwards. Close the camera. That's kinda awesome. Another unique way of moving in-game, so... 
Left side. Activate the timer. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. That's awesome. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Is that a person? I must help them. Oh, that's probably the white lady. idea that someone might have drowned in my lake. The lake was my world, where I would spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister, my twin, a part of me, dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Your sister. That's going to be Martha. I have to stay calm. Oh, come on. Grab. Martha is not dead. It's not possible. It's not true. There's no need to worry. Fine. I have to stay calm. Martha, February 26th, 1923. So this is 1944. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade, so I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha, forever. Oh, come on. What have you done, though? You should have just speak a little bit or explain what happened. You just saw her body floating now. I don't know. We have to resolve this case before Batman does. Oh. The body. Chapter 3. 
Martha's dead, then 30 p.m., sign of the cross. Yeah, o be... Lord who gives life to the dying, let your sacrifice of love be offered for Martha's soul. Into your hands I also entrust my spirit, so that I may be reunited with her in perpetual light, to never suffer the desolation of purgatory. Please grant her eternal rest, O Lord, and may eternal light shine upon her. Remember to light the candles in the hall. People will be here soon. Mummy always finds something for everyone to do. <laughs> Space bar to highlight points of interest. Okay, that's kind of cool. Books, books, and more books. In our villa, there must be ten times more than even here. Take a look on this one. Just. This painter was a friend of Grandpa's. I always loved his paintings. As a child, I used to look at them for hours. I love her voice. It's soft. Mummy and Daddy. They are the epitome of wealth and elegance. But pain pays no heed to money and style. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's correct. Money can't buy everything, so... The only way people could tell Martha and me apart was by dressing differently. Even Mother couldn't tell us apart. They're both gorgeous, I will say. An old painting. I find it so sad. It communicates a sense of deep solitude to me. Deep solitude? I can't turn it off. We have to listen to the radio all of the time. Any news and announcements can be vital. I don't have to touch that one. Probably if your dad is listening, so... Daddy must be devastated. He loves me. I messed up and now I have to watch him suffer my death. Oh, I can at least light the candles and let him find some comfort in sleep. Poor dad. That's gonna be tragic. Dear daughters. A simple task doing this is quite easy. I haven't seen a huge scandal like this. Can you come and get the flowers, please? Or send Martha if you like. I'm coming. <sighs> Never a moment's peace. Even at a time like this. She can't sit still for a second. Sounds so irritated. Oh, I don't have a reflection. Oh, oh, that's... That sucks. Or maybe I'm a ghost or something. Oh, there's mom. Yep. I'll take these flowers. Everything always has to be perfect with her. Probably she's a perfectionist or something. Can I run? Okay. Shift button, always. Special message? Close the door. Uh oh. Someone close the door. Erich, Erich, wake up. Oh, Do you great. think it's appropriate to sleep here? Of all places. What? Hmm? I yes. can't click anything. I must have fallen asleep. Oh crap. What am I supposed to do here now? Oh, okay. Now it's available. What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. 
Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? Her fault for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irene. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. I'm the crazy one? Me? Uh-uh. I think I know what's going on. They have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Yuli. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news from the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. She was hit in the head, I'm pretty sure. Because there's a mark on her forehead. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't sound... Move the camera? What? What's going on? Martha has lost. It's just some sort of a grammar for life, right? Oh crap. Wasn't it life? Oh, let's go with so. Okay. No, oh, that's the white lady.
it's because of trauma she was unable to speak, so that's why she was unable to explain herself. But it's too late. Games graphics intensive, so I think my GPU is struggling with the um, the game itself. So I'll show you how my GPU performs later at the end of the video. So just bear with me. It was just a dream, a horrible dream. Yeah, it that was. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. Horrendous I wish all woman. of this was a dream, and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty, and this is reality. Yes, yes. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... 1929 to 1944, how old she Martha is. had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Let's find out. Chapter 3, probably. The room. Every chapter is quite soft. Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Beautiful, yeah. Look at that. Can I open the window? That's nice. I can see my body. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. Alright, guess we'll have to find out. I need to check something here. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Calendar. It's July 18th. What kind of calendar is this? I don't quite figure it out. I always keep my trinket box locked. Okay. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, I heard the game was well made. So. Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Lapo? Who is Lapo? The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. Oh, so you have a boyfriend? Probably. Nanny will be visiting me soon. Okay. Everything I need is always in my bag. Yep, that's important. This is a horror game, so we need a bag. Can I be Martha without her clothes? Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. I could wear Martha's clothes instead, in the other wardrobe. Mm, decision making? Yeah, we'll probably do this. I guess 
We pretended to be Martha, so let's go with this one. Purple. Is that purple or blue? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, that's a beautiful dress you got there. Okay, let's go. Let's get outside. Check your sister. Before I leave the room, I should probably take a good look around. What? Do we need to take a look around? Here's the whole family together. A very rare thing indeed. What did I miss? Did I use my bag? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you have opened Julia's bag. Here you can find objects that the Julia always carries with her along with any picked up during the game. Okay. Objects are listed at the bottom left. Select an object to use or analyze it. Now try selecting the, the map. I don't need the map. I need a key. I need to get out. The key to my trinket box. Oh, trinket box. Okay. Guess I have to use this one. Can I do that? Here is my diary. Diary. Okay. We have to leave that part. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but... Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. Next page. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. You feel right when you're together. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. Okay, we're gonna need to guess that's all. Get out of here. Upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Oh, Mom's Fine, here. But I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. So I need to get out. We have to resolve this case. ASAP. Oh. Okay, let's go. Check things out here. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Julia. As a child, when I spent those short years with the nanny, this was my room. What about Martha, though? She doesn't have her own room or something? Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? 
And that camera, are you leaving it there? Yes, Irene. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The thought makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Her father seems depressed. I mean, Mummy sounds... is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Okay. During deep winter, I would go to sleep snuggled by the fire and Nanny would get angry. Do you want to turn into a piece of charcoal, Julia? Okay, let's read a newspaper. Lunioni del Popolo. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. What is this? Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these times. Privilege? So it's kind of rare, isn't it? So here's our camera. Let's take this. For Julia. To take more and more photos. Dad. Ah, your dad is so sweet. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Whoa. Look at the graphics. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. Oh, crap. What should I lower down here? I don't care. Probably 30 FPS or something. A sparrow. Okay, K to see objectives. Oh, newspaper. I've already read that. Uh, try the camera. Maybe put the photos in the frame. Always. Martha would never did. She had liked this so much. Okay. I think this is. Okay. Let me use this. You're about to use Julius. Julius camera. It's a 1940 roller cord, or did I pronounce it right? With 120 millimeters film. You will use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game story. Okay, so we'll be um, capturing spirits, probably. While holding the camera, an icon will appear to indicate pho into photographic interest. The icon will appear and become clearer the closer we are. Press A. So let's start taking a picture. You're about to take your first picture. To simplify the simulation, the picture preview displays the settings as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewfinder's image is controlled by the secondary lens and only respond to focus. Bear for your first picture. If you stand still, you'll be able to turn the camera rotation, pitch, and height. R. Okay, this is going to be. Okay, properly exposed incline. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Out of focus. Control for attachments. Okay. It's just out of focus. Oh, so. okay. Here you'll find the camera add-ons. We'll be able to use different lenses, filters, fill, varies in sensitivities, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I know how to do it. Spacebar to shoot. 
There we go. Congratulations, you've taken your first photo. You can shoot as many photos as you want throughout the game, but remember the only a few will be critical to the story progress. Soon you will learn how to develop the photos you've taken. Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. To the cellar. Okay. It's going to need to go back, I guess. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. So he's a Nazi general. That's pretty bad. My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. A bicycle pump will solve this. Bicycle pump? I think I saw one a while back. I think it's at the back. Yeah, we're gonna need to check that out. Oh, oh let's check my sister. On the day of Saint Alexis, the oh, battle good. rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombs. What the hell? Whoa. The moment I thought I saw... I know that's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. The situation is currently under control. What is going on? Man, she was beaten. I'm pretty sure. Then she was thrown down in the lake. So it must have been... Um... Yeah, I saw it here. This is it. <laughs> Let's take this. Here's the bicycle pump. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, nothing here. I guess we can fix the bicycle now, but uh, I need to go to the dark room, so. Where's the dark room though? Can I use the map? Try the camera, I'm old. Already done with that, so. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. I always picked up loads of techniques. Okay. So you know how to cook as well, as an older woman. Okay, dark. Where's the dark? Dante's Inferno illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. Dante's Inferno. I only remember the game. So it was a oh so it's actually a painting. We are so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German general for a father, food is never scarce. Oh, so they're rich. Well, gotta be thankful. Photos must be developed using the dark room in the basement. Okay. Where's the dark room though? Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of Mummy's, or could the nanny have left it here? Red fabric. Oh. These could be of use to me. Okay. We can use that one later on for cutting things, you know. Or maybe a weapon or something. Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Why would she take medicines? She's sick or something? Is this blood? There's oh, probably wine. Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, let's go with the dark room. En enough with that. You have to develop a picture. Daddy set up his dark room here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the dark room when I want to. There are three baths when developing photos. The development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. I don't quite get that, but let's go. <laughs> I 
this is nice we're taking photos and then directly going down to the dark room to develop things that's kind of awesome To develop photo, you'll first have to use Enlarger. Enlarger is the optical instrument that allows you to process photographic paper. <laughs> I'm carried away by the accent, by the way. So, After shooting a photo, the film must be developed in several steps. The aspect has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but it, in reality, the steps are as follows. The film is firstly rolled on a reel, put inside a small tank. The tank is then immersed in the developer, washed and then immersed in the stop bath. It is washed again, dried and finally cut. You'll find your rolls of film already developed and ready for painting. Choose the image you want to print to paper. The preview on the left side will help you choose of course. You will see your image images in negative. Okay, there we only have one photo right now so what Gonna have to develop this one. The enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more. You can choose on which part of paper the picture will be printed. You can adjust the focus and choose how long to expose the photographic paper. With the red filter, you can project and see the image paper without exposing it. Use the controls to move the paper on the bench and to adjust the magnification uh, focus. I like reading, so so do you. When the three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. If you still see the image out of focus, when aligned, you probably shot in that way. Play with the adjustment until you're happy. When you're ready, press spacebar to continue. Alright, guess I have to put it down here. W for enlargement. Okay. That's how you do it, right? I like this song though. I hope we won't get any copyrights with this one. Should have bought the um, the add-ons. WS and then A and D. Oh, focus. Okay, it's already focused. Spacebar. When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed onto the paper. This process has been automated and made faster than what happens in real life. So they optimized this one. Or probably made, made it a little bit simpler than the real process. Okay. That's kind of nice. Immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear. To achieve ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer when the timer is in the green zone. If you have to take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined and you'll have to print it. Again, okay, we have to be careful. I guess I have to go with the green light. Be patient. One thing here that is kind of weird is that she does not have any reflection, even in the water. So, in real life, immersion into the developer is followed by wash, a stop bath, and then second wash. These additional baths have been skipped for the sake of simplicity. Yep, I understand that. Here's your printed photo. You can keep it in your album scrap. Not oh, a bad photograph. Yep. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Okay. You gotta have to put it on the album. Click. Okay. We developed our first photo, so I think we're gonna need to go outside. Okay, what's next? Did that do anything or something? That's the frame. Tripod is needed, then I can take a self-portrait. Okay, yep. The empty frame you said a while ago. Oh, there's a tripod. There's a tripod before? 1944? Yeah, I think there is. That's awesome. I guess we have to take a picture of ourselves, right? Camera is set up with the self timer. Mm -hmm. What are these things? These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. 
This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. Oh, so your grandfather. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy brought them. I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is there any jump scare here or something? Is there a drunk ghost in here? Nope. Probably not. Let's get outside. Oh. When I was little, these barrels seemed enormous. I thought I could live inside one. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, we have to set the photo timer. Sulky, neutral, smiling. Guess I have to go with neutral. Okay, we have to develop this one. You said Martha is, uh, Martha doesn't like taking photos, so. Why would you leave that one there? What if your mom saw it? So, yeah, I'm gonna have to develop a picture. To put down in a frame, simple quest. Okay. All right, let's it's go. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. Yep. You can't I... see anything at first, yet mm -hmm. something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible oh, breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's Daddy. why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. Yeah, I think that's focused. AD. All right, that's perfect. I should have smiled though. I can actually skip that one, so I think I do. I'll just put on timestamps in the video, so you can skip. Um. Whoa, this is the background image. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. She's actually beautiful, so can't say anything. <laughs> 